When I started uh, in ophthalmology practice, I was uh, on the full-time faculty at the University of Minnesota, and so we were, uh, were involved uh, on the University of Minnesota faculty, not just in patient care, but also in teaching and in research. And uh, I enjoyed that, and when I decided to found my private practice, we decided to continue that. So while we expanded the number of patients we could see, we continue to do teaching uh, and research. So we've had an opportunity and still have the opportunity to participate in the development of many of the new technologies that are helping patients see better. And the advances are uh, nothing short of, uh, of extraordinary. If you start with the most common problems that we, we see, uh, the patient with cataract now has a choice of whether they want to see far, near, intermediate, or through a full range, uh, a very exciting option for the patient. We've got much better treatments for glaucoma, both uh, medical and surgical, that have evolved in the last 20 years, so we can keep patients from losing vision, in most cases, with glaucoma. A very common problem, age-related macular degeneration. We now are developing treatments both to prevent its progression, but also to restore vision for many patients once they've developed age-related macular degeneration. And then uh, just the common nuisance maladies like dry eye, ocular allergy, blepharitis. While they're not blinding diseases, they're very annoying. They have a negative impact on quality of life. And we've had an opportunity now to develop a large number of treatment modalities that can give patients uh, better relief from those symptoms. The fun part is that we not only have those treatments available for our patients, but over the last 20 and 30 years, we've actually played a major role in actually developing those. And we also have fun teaching other doctors uh, how to use them properly.